Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. I know all the kit's on and it creates a noise, but in theory I'm so close to the microphones, my noise should be greater than that noise. And I don't want to mess about with the kit at the moment. I don't even want to go in here. Um, thanks for the comments I got regarding the Sunday chat and the problems I've got in here. Um, I've done a lot of work. In fact, I spent nearly all morning on the internet and came up with nothing new. All I found was what I'd found in the past, on and off over various periods of time. There's nothing new there. So the conclusions are inconclusive, along with what some comments have come in. Um, you've got two schools of thought here. Pitting and that surface damage on the leaves has all the hallmarks of spider mites. Yeah? Now, that I already knew, but it's doubtful whether spider mites would get a grip in here because of the really high humidity. Now, they like hot and dry. They don't like hot and soggy. <laughs> you know, and I mean, my humidity doesn't drop down below 75 to 80%, um, irrespective of temperature. So they wouldn't do that well in here. But that doesn't mean to say they can't exist in small numbers in isolated places, yeah? So they haven't been excluded. In addition to that, we've definitely got a fungal problem. We don't have a bacterial problem. Bacterial infections are soggy, they're wet, they're fast. <laughs> you know, you can actually lose a plant in a couple of days. You see a couple of brown soggy bits on your plant, and you think, I'll deal with that tomorrow, and tomorrow's too late. Yeah, it's a now thing if you get bacterial stuff. But a fungus can linger around and catch a hold here and there, now and again. Um, so, irrespective of what I've got, I'm going to treat everything and I started today. The whole place, that includes pots, <laughs> quite a few of the shelving, every single plant in here got treated with the systemic fungicide and I know somebody's going to ask, I'll get it. Oh. I've started with that one. Um, simply because it was new and I haven't used it before. So that's where I've started. Um, I don't know whether I can find the um, low level ingredient. I doubt if I can flip and pronounce it. Oh, there we go. Um, you might have to zoom in and that might not be in focus, but um, it's, um, I can't even read it. Oh, I can't, it's, um, I've got misted up glasses at the moment. I expect the lens is gonna mist up in a minute. Anyway, that's what I've used. The whole place has been done, yeah? Um, I've only just been able to open the door because the actual extractor and inlet fan came on um, and basically that's changed the air a bit and cleared some of the fumes. Um, so that's treatment number one. Um, the next treatment I'm going to do will be my other fungicide. I decided against the Fysan 20. It's a really good treatment but it's a surface treatment. Um, which would have been good, but, you know, any bits that have been missed that have left any spores lying around, it's not systemic. So it would have only have treated what it touched. And there's no way, doesn't matter how good you are at spraying, you're going to miss bits. <laughs> so I decided to go with the systemic. So all of the plants have now got a systemic fungicide. I want to go quiet when Hurricane Hector goes off. So that's treatment number one. Treatment number two for the fungicide will be after the appropriate interval, but it will be with my other one. So I'll have alternated, yeah? In between, the whole lot is gonna get treated for bugs, non-systemic. I'm gonna go with the soapy wash stuff. Uh, somebody's gonna ask, I suppose. I'm gonna go with that, yeah? Basically, because it includes spider mites and the systemic stuff I've got doesn't. Remember, they're not insects, yeah? But this stuff works on suffocation. It's a soapy wash base, you know, with some natural oils and things like that. Um, so it does deal with spider mites. So if I've got a few lurking around anywhere, 
um, it should deal with those. It's contact only, therefore I have to be thorough and make sure I get top sides of leaves, undersides of leaves. Pretty big deal trying to hit every part of every single plant. So I'm assuming I'm going to miss some. Therefore this treatment will get repeated quite frequently from now on because I've already bought the stuff. It doesn't harm the plants in any shape or form. It's even got a bit of foliar feed in it <laughs> to do them a bit, give them a little bit of a boost. The idea being if there's some bug damage they might need a bit of help. So I'm going to repeat treatment that throughout the grow room over quite a period of time and this time I'm writing it down on the grounds that I tend to forget when I last did things and what I did it with and all that. So this is now a program of treatment starting today with systemic fungicide. That can't be repeated for quite a while now um, and then it will get repeated with the other one. This, however, can be done as often as I like. I can do that every day if I want. It can't do any harm. Yeah? Unfortunately, in between doing all this, I've still got to actually water and feed my plants. So I'm now in what I would call a busy time. It's got to be done. Um, I've got to get on top of this once and for all, even though I don't, strictly speaking, know what I'm deal dealing with. Not specifically. But this is eradication process, process of elimination by treatment. So whatever I've got, I've got it covered, if you see what I mean. So that's the plan. And um, you know, as I say, it's going to be a bit of a busy time. And we're just coming up to a flipping heat wave as well. We're looking at 30 degrees on some days this week. I don't think it's going to last a huge amount of time, not like some of the other ones we've had. But um, nonetheless, it puts a larger onus. I mean, I just used um, a lot of my remaining RO water to mix up my spray. So I haven't got much water left now, so tomorrow I've got to get the RO unit out as well. Yeah? Luckily at the moment, there's plenty of water in the um, header tank for the fogger. So uh, that'll be okay for a bit. But tomorrow I need water. I need backup for the hydrofogger because if we're going to get temperatures like that, that's going to be on nearly all day long. And it gobbles the water, you know. That can get through 10 litres in a day, you know, you know, when we get that warmer weather. So it's going to use my water up quickly. So busy time coming up and um, I'll keep you posted how, how I go with it. but. Um, It'll be difficult to prove that what I'm doing has actually worked. That's the problem with these type of things. I got some of my damaged leaves today with my magnifying glass and I'm blowed if I can see any bugs. So if I've had spider mites, I think they're gone. They probably got whacked with other treatments or they're in such small numbers because of the humidity and how it is in here that I can't find any and yet they may still be around so we'll try and deal with them <laughs> and um, as I said in the Sunday chat I really don't have much of a bug problem this year you know the, the mealy bugs are so thin on the ground I reckon if I spent the next half an hour out here I'd have a job to find one I may not even find one they're that thin on the ground at the moment whereas I don't know, that's stopped. I can get out here without getting wet. I was looking at these, yeah? Once upon a time, these leaves were new leaves. They were new leaves when I had mealybugs, yeah? Now, I've got new growths up here. There's not a bug on them. Not a sign of a bug. Last year, there would have been bugs on those new growths. There would have been bugs on these new growths on the Hercoglossum. They're not there this year. They're just not around. We just haven't got them. So uh, I think I'm winning on that front anyway. And as I said, I'm pretty sure that's to do with the um, calcium, even though I can't prove it, because that's the only thing really that's changed this year from last year, you know. So, uh, and so, several people have started going into the nutrients related issues regarding my problems this is not a nutrient problem it's not 
This is physical damage. You don't get that from nutrients. You can get yellow patches, yellow streaks, yellow spots, brown spots. You can get all that. They don't dig into the leaves and make dents and holes and pits. That just doesn't happen. So um, it's not a nutrient deficiency. Um, it isn't nutrients. I don't believe that. At the end of the day, I'm using a pretty good fertilizer. I don't use the supplements very often apart from the calcium. The um, magnesium sulfate, the Epsom salts, I decided a, a while back, quite a while back, that I don't need to use it. Or, uh, perhaps only on very rare occasions, and if I do, it'll get used on its own. It's, it's something that affects the nutrient uptake of other nutrients. It's only got to go a little bit over the top and other nutri nutrients start getting locked out. There's enough in my MSU fertilizer. The only time it would cause a deficiency is if the pH was so far out the magnesium couldn't be absorbed. Yeah, so I'm excluding that. Um, I use the seaweed now and again, but it's very infrequently and it's a small amount every three or four weeks. <clears throat> so I don't use too much of that. Calcium gets used mm, probably every other feed. <laughs> so that does get used. But it doesn't get used in ridiculous quantities on the grounds that my MSU's already got 8% in there. It's already got a good bit of calcium. Somebody said that the MSU fertilizer, and some people in the States on forums have said, it's low on sulfur. Yeah, well, the problem is you're looking at the main ingredient list and sulfur's not on there, is it? Oh, yes, it is. If you look at the ingredients that have been used to get that list, there's sulfur in many of those ingredients. There's sulfur in there. It's just not itemized because it's not been added as a separate ingredient. It's part of the other ingredients. Yeah. Wherever you see the word sulfate, you've got sulfur. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> so it's not that. Um, so I'm excluding that. I'm putting this down to a fungus. Yes. I don't really care which one. It's not bacterial. That would be serious. <laughs> and a fungicide won't touch a bacterial infection. It won't even look at it. You need something like Fysan 20, a disinfectant to get at um, bacterial infections. I haven't got those. I don't worry about those. So it is a, there is fungus in here and fungicide should deal with it. Whatever type it is, there could be more than one type in here. I don't know. You know, it's the sort of thing when a new plant comes in, you might not see it, you might not know it's there. And even if you quarantined your, quarantined your plant, it can sit on the plant for quite a long time and not show any signs. So you've got no guarantees. So there could be more than one fungus involved here. Uh, a general purpose systemic fungicide should deal with that. If there are any spider mite lurking in here, hopefully I will be dealing with them. So I think I've got it covered. Uh, only time will tell. But I need good weather to absolutely soak all my plants the way I did this morning. I must know that they're gonna dry. So uh, I'm going to take full advantage of this weather. Just looking around now, I can see the underside of the vanda leaves have still got water droplets on them. I can see some water droplets on some of the cattleya leaves. But then it's only three o'clock in the afternoon and the sun's still out. <laughs> you know, I'm up near 28 degrees in here with the fans on. It's going to dry, so it's not a problem. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. So that's what I'm up to. That, that's what's been done so far. That's the plan for the near and far future. A um, good friend of mine actually said, you need a preventative program. If you leave it till you get symptoms and things start showing, it's a lot harder to deal with. It's better to do preventative medicine with some sort of regular program that just basically protects your plants from things like funguses. So, 
And it's just laziness not doing it. I know this. It's not, it's not like I'm learning something new. I know all this. I'm just lazy. So I need to get at it. See you next time. Bye for now.